Hello, Possum Stramer Smith here. After all that building on the town hall, my resources are severely depleted. I need to go on a big foraging expedition. I need sandstone for today's build. So it's off to the mining desert for me. And while I'm out this way, because it's a long way, I may as well head to the mining mesa. Mining desert first. Hello, wrong tunnel, come back. Come on, that's it. Off to the right. Yep, that's it. Okay, I'm back on track. <laughs> so I'll head out to the mining desert. We should do this as a third person time lapse. Cue foraging music. Well, that was quite the foraging expedition and some of my foraging was for the buildings I'm going to put here. That'll leave one more down there on the corner which I'm still not sure about but let's get started on this. So I'm beginning with the redstone for the doors because quite frankly I've worked out finally that it's quicker to put it in right at the start. It's simple enough run a redstone line from your daylight detector into a repeater which goes into the block that the redstone torches on top of, put a block on top of that and put your door on top of that. <sighs> Simple enough, floor goes in. And now I can start doing the front and the side, so that's the south and the east sides. Red nether brick, ordinary nether brick. That red nether brick was in the right place in the first place. It'll go back in and now I start putting in the windows and I realized that they hang over the gutter. I really, really don't like things hanging over the gutter. Not at ground level anyway. So I decided to shift the south side in one, which means moving the redstone for the doors. And that's when the weirdness started. You'll see in a minute, I'll take the floor out. Well, part of it anyway. There we go, and you can see what's happening. The signal is going from the daylight detector out for six blocks. I had to keep breaking and replacing the redstone dust to tease the signal out until it went the full 13. No problem on the right hand side, just on the left, but it's back. <sighs> At which point I realised I also had to bring in the eastern side and this is where the trouble started. The window sills no longer hang over the gutter but it won't work out. Lining for the walls again on the inside, I do like having a different coloured lining, but I didn't have one on that eastern wall and it bothered me. There goes the red nether brick. It's in the wrong place. Now it's not. <laughs> I got there in the end. First story windows, but it's going to cause problems and not having that eastern wall lining, that was bothering me. But it wasn't until I put the parapet around the top that I realised how much it wasn't going to work. And here's the perils of perfectionism. It's all got to come out.
So take out the whole bottom floor walls and windows, put them in back where they were in the first place with a slightly modified design. That done, take out the first story walls and windows. Ah, it's all going back in now. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. Don't be a perfectionist. <laughs> it's really, really irritating. But good news is I can now line that eastern wall. Here comes the parapet again. Et voila, it all works. Well, that was much more of a palaver than I wanted, but it is done. I've even got ceilings inside both floors. I've got a roof on the top. We've got little blue lanterns along the top for decorative detail more than anything else. Although a little bit of spawn proofing on those blocks isn't a bad thing. But what's this for? I know what this is for. I'm still working on internal designs. This is what we're going to decorate today. Now, way back when, when I asked for suggestions of what to build in my town and I explained the shops were all going to be storage, viewer Gavin Wynn suggested a Walmart. Now, in terms of storage, that's a great idea, a big general purpose shop like that. But for this town, it's not going to fit. This is more UK than US. It's more vintage than modern. But Gavin's idea triggered something in my brain. So I know it's not quite what you wanted, Gavin, but we are going to build a wall mart. I'll show you what I mean. We'll start with the counter. The counter is here at the back. Oh, I don't know that... Eh. Excuse me, I might just swap that over for something else. It's blending with the floor too much. I'm back with spruce, but first an end rod and then spruce stairs upside down, another end rod and spruce countertop. That's better. And now I think we can probably get rid of these. And now we make walls. So we'll start with this one. You'll recognize it from the town hall yellow terracotta and then dark oak trapdoors for panelling. Uh, I think we'll go with... I'll get rid of you. I think we'll go with a shed wall next. So spruce trapdoor, oak trapdoor for a window, spruce trapdoor. There we go. That's like my shed walls over in the garden. Um, a storage wall next I think. So storage at the top and then some wool, dark oak trap door. I probably should have a block behind there. I might get one. And a crimson trap door at the front. So that's like all the storage walls in the tailors next door. That's not bad. I think we can put one behind the counter. So oak and two birch trap doors. And that's a rice paper wall sliding door sort of thing like we've got at 30 or come at spawn. Yeah. Yeah. And as I make some more that I like, I can put them. We've got some space here and some space here. But this space is for play. This is for me to work out what other walls I can make trapdoors or with blocks whatever there's plenty of space here and I think I might move all my trapdoors over from the lumber yard to here. I need a few more barrels but I've got them so I think there are seven types of trapdoors? Seven? Eight? don't know. I've got seven barrels on me. We'll start with seven. And that's sort of nice. We've got a block there and a block there. I'll go get the trap doors and I'll put them in here. All right, let's see how we go. Um, we'll put 
jungle in here. Birch. I need some more birch trapdoors. Dark oak. Uh, spruce. You close awfully early. Um, standard oak. Acacia. Gobspit's favourite. Crimson. Oh, it is eight. Okay. I'll go find another barrel. Back in a tick. One more barrel and that is for warped. Yeah. And I was thinking we could do this. Oh. Mm. I thought the red to go with the red nether brick, but now I'm not sure. Maybe it should be purple to go with the walls. I don't know. I'll live with the red for a bit. I'll see what I think. Mm. That's not looking too bad, but I can't I can't have these here. I need a proper play space. So let's see how we're going. Oh, there's a seven. It's not too bad apart from that seven. But we can't have a seven in here. Oh, no, there's more than one. Yep, definitely needs fixing. So, um, oh, it's an even number. Ugh. Oh, well, we'll put it here anyway. Maybe that'll be okay. I hope so. And one, two, three. Let's see how that is. How is it in this corner? Eight. Oh, the seven that was here is gone. This is, yeah, well, that's right, because the end rods of this is looking good. Yay! Oh, that made me start. I literally jumped. <laughs> well, this is the Walmart, or Mart of Walls, or Wall Market, or Wall Play Space. <laughs> Oh, but, 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 now we've got to come out here. Now, where am I going to put this? Um, I could put it up there. I could put it down here. If I put it against the column, it'll stick out. What do we do? I could put it there, but then it won't be centered. Uh, we'll put it here. So, Walmart. And the proprietor is Gavin Wynn. There we go. So, I'm sorry, Gavin, I couldn't do your suggestion as it stood. I hope you like my silly little variation on it. It really was a good idea. It just really doesn't fit. I'm sorry. In a more modern setting, it would be perfect. But hopefully you like what I've done. And I now have a wall play space, which for me is really important. So thank you. And after all that perfectionism shenanigans, oh my goodness, don't be a perfectionist. It really isn't worth it. <gasps> anyway, let me know if you think it was worth it shifting the whole building back out again at the south and at the east. At the east. <laughs> As usual, I'm going to go have a cup of tea. I always have free dirt. <laughs> and there's end cards on the screen now to some more of my stuff so you can see what else I get up to. I might link my Hogwarts Express video because I love that video and I hope you love it too. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!